So we're gonna open the Pioneer Play Kit from Love Every. It's the 16, 17, 18 month play kit. Giovanna has gotten them since she was, I don't know, like four months old. And we do them a little bit late because she was born a little premature and she's been a little kind of like more developmentally um, appropriate according to her correct. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's been more developmentally appropriate for her corrected age and we don't want her to get frustrated or bored really easily so we do them late. And she's bored right now. So let's open the box. <gasps> wow, look, there's a baby. Do you like the baby? Do you want to open it? <gasps> What's that? This is a book. Max and Nana go to the park. She doesn't have a Nana. She has a tutu and a, an abuelita. So we'll just have to use other words. What do you think? Yeah, you like the packaging better. The packaging shows like all of them what's inside the box. So there's the book, there's race and chase ramp, fuzzy bug shrub, wooden pegging, uh, wooden stacking pegboard, community garden puzzle, threadable bead kit, and drawstring bag. Whoa, did you find the drawstring bag? What's this? Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy, isn't it? Oh my goodness. What's in here? Oh boy. What are you gonna do with that? Put it in my mouth. Okay. Yeah, what do you think about if we do this? Giovanna, not now. We're not gonna do it now. That is the fuzzy bug shrub. Wow, yeah, how do we to open, the, do you know how to open the lid? You gotta push here. Good job. What's that? No, you're just gonna put it back. Can we take it out? Can we dump them out? <gasps> Whoa. And we'll close the lid. Yeah, you can put them in. You can also put them on the sides. I mean, I thought you would be able to, but they don't seem to be sticking. Maybe you can't. So they have bugs. A container for bugs. What's in here? Do you want to see what's in here? Oh my goodness. Ugh, I broke it. Okay. Do you want to dump it out? Can you dump it out? Do you want to play with the pegboard? Oh my gosh, and we have the big toy. Oops. Do you want to put it down the track? Giovanna, hey, put them in the track. Ready? Whoa! You gotta put it on the track. Ready? Put it on the track. Try it again. Try it again. Ready? Whoa! Ready? Here. <laughs> Ready? Oh my! Okay, so we have bugs and a shrub, the threadable bead kit, this book, the pegboard kit, and the racetrack. I think Giovanna will for sure like the racetrack. Um, she loves things that move, probably like all babies. Um, she is working on the correct orientation of objects, and so having to put the cars in the correct orientation to get them to drop is probably gonna be good for her practice. Ah! Yeah. I don't know how the rest of these are gonna go. She's working on pegboards and fine motor skills, so this is good to have. Thank you. Um, she tends to lose interest pretty fast, so I, I don't know how well this is gonna go over. So the bug shrub is supposed to be for building finger strength and dexterity. You peel the bugs off and stick them back on. 
onto what? I think you're supposed to put them on here, but I can't even get them to stick on here. So I don't know how she's gonna get them to stick on here. So she has one, two, three, no. One, two, three, four toys. I like the fact that they just come to my door, but you can also just look at the Love Every website. It has the list of what's in every box and you can buy the same or similar toys off of Amazon. So I don't really know if it's worth it, but I say that every time we re uh, review a, a box and I just resubscribed for the next year. So I, I guess that even though I'm not sure, I am sure enough to keep buying them. She's growing so quickly and she's developing new skills so quickly that it's easy to forget to buy new things for her to, to be challenged. And it's easy to forget to, yeah, not just buy what I'm familiar with from my childhood. And so we're just gonna keep doing these. Are you gonna read the manual to have some? I doubt it. I haven't read any of these and this is my second year on the boxes. So I, I highly doubt that I'll read this. Plus, it doesn't necessarily seem like I want, it, you know, that she wants to play with them the way that they were intended. Like, she loves exploring these doors. And I think that that's great. She doesn't necessarily like putting them in the way that they're intended. And we have a whole bunch of balls from a variety of different toys and we let her drop all of them down there. Plus it's a really nice place to store them. So I don't really, I think that that's bad. I don't think that she has to use it as a ball drop. If she wants to use it as like a treasure chest, that works too. So there's one more thing in this box. It's a garden patch shape, or, or puzzle, garden patch puzzle. Yeah, do you wanna open the puzzle? So I think this is great. I was just saying we needed more shape related toys and there was a lot of shape related tasks on the Bailey testing that she did at her NICU follow-up. So this is perfect because this is exactly what I was asking for. And actually I was looking at Amazon to buy something because we didn't have anything like this. That's an onion and that's a carrot. Can you put the carrot back? We're gonna have to work on this one. And this kind of has several things that I was hoping to get and we didn't have, which is the matching, which she didn't do very well on, and then the shape sorting, which she also didn't do very well on, and that none of the other boxes really had, as far as I know. There are the couple of puzzles that just have circles, but that is not really a shape per se, I think. I know you have so many more toys. More toys, more toys. Like and subscribe to Love Every. <laughs>